Hey up everybody, my planet N Zero One, welcome back. And uh yeah, this is No Man's Sky. And this is Etunus Yeah, let's rename that. Because uh, that's really annoying. Oh I can't rename it because I've already uploaded it. Never mind. So yeah, there's my uh there's my little starship. Hell of a lot better than the one that you start the game out with. I did pre order the game about about a month ago, I think. I didn't even know that I was in for the pre-order bonus of this ship. But anyway, it's a lot better than the first one that looks like a fucking Morris Manor. I think I've already discovered most things on this planet. And I actually can't remember what I was doing yesterday when I came to this planet. Um, open galactic space. No, I don't need to open my galactic space map. I think I already collected this. Yep, yeah, that was an upgrade to my exosuit that gave me an extra inventory slot. Anyway, let's see what's left to discover. There's one, two, three, four. It's another five animals to find on this planet. Oh, can upload that one. That's that done. And the fire animals, hmm. Let's do a scan and see what we've got. Let's give in the ship and there. Uh, go for a little joyride. Not enough fuel. Do -do -do -do. There's shit loads of fuel now. Have a scan, see what we can find. Is that arrive in 45 seconds? And then I'll arrive a little bit quicker than that. Oh, there's one of the uh, things. These allow you to find waypoints. Or points of interest around the planet. It is a signal scanner, and we need a bypass chip to use it, so we'll create one of those. Yeah, we ain't got no space. Ah. So this is one of the annoying things about this game, it just... You can never get enough free slots. And I don't have enough... Oh, I need some iron. Alright, there's plenty of iron hanging about. Should have enough iron to create that now. Yep, we've got 18 units, but now our inventory is full uh, again. Discard the sink, don't need that. Okay, let's see what this has got for us. Um, don't know what to go for. Transmission, colonial outpost, but let's go for monolith. Whee! And it's three minutes away. Got another one there as well. I'm guessing that the monolith is in that hole. Oh wow, what the hell is that? It's not friendly. Run! I'm going to discover that it's chasing me. It's docile, that'll do. Whee! Through its legs. Uh, 
Ah, there we go. Drop down. The noble travellers will be spared, their journey through the cosmos shall not be thwarted, so it is decreed. The will of Herc commands it. The Vakian shall honour the judgment, the belief of the ancients. Yeah, seek help with the language. My knowledge of the Vakian increases. I've learned their word for warp. Cool, now I hope I can freaking jetpack out of here, alright. Because these walls look mighty high. Yep, you can jetpack that high. Through glitches. <laughs> I need some more I and I. Oh, there we go. What have we got here? Product constructed. Right. I've done a colonial outpost, so I might try transmission. See where that takes us. And we've also just done monolith too, so. I kind of raced off the first planet that the game puts you on. I didn't search around or have a look around too much, so. This is the third planet that I've visited, so I'm kind of. Trying to not 100% it, but at least discover a little bit more about it. I do find this ship a bit annoying though, because all it wants to do is just go upwards all the time. Even though I want to go down, it wants to take me up. And I find the landing a bit, a bit crappy. I need to work on that. I didn't do too bad that time. Cool. Destination reached. I like these bits though, where it flies you out and then drops you back in. Turn the lights off. Shelter. Aluminium. We haven't got any aluminium. Let's have some. Fill it up and we can sell it somewhere. some copper as well. Hmm, right. Let's have a look. If we go to the shelter, see what's there. We 
understand this ship so bloody annoying. I can't get back on the other way. <laughs> That's better. It'd be nice to have a little bit of a uh, fine tune into these controls because they're a bit, a bit finicky. Far out with that one, and it's a bit windy here. Oh. Oh. Reflex, blah 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 blah. blah. Now that's not as good as the one that I'm carrying right now. The one that I'm carrying right now has a lot more slots than that, I think. Just let me check. Oh no, it doesn't actually. It's only got 8 slots. That has 10. So I might swap to that one. Let's have a look. Have 3 slots spare. Gonna cost a fair bit though. Mm -hmm. Current tool, new multi tool. Beam intensifier, has it got one that's got beam coolant? It doesn't have the analyzing scanner. Hmm. I don't know. We'll come back to that in a second. See what this dude is. Whoa. It's one funky face. Conscript do do blah 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 blah. Yeah, caps. Cat thingy after names. Re inventory, for God's sake. It's annoying. some of this stuff. Get rid of some. I'm gonna get rid of those as well. Yes, in there, there, there. There can go. The copper can go, the aluminium can go. Let's see what else we've got. We're keeping those. Um, I can go keep the plutonium because that's always useful. And that will do. See what they've got to buy. Right, that will do for now. I don't know how to move the stuff over. How do I move my thing over? Or can't I? I'm assuming I can't. Yeah. Range booster. Plasmic launcher. Plasma launcher, sorry. Land disruption technology and excavation tool launch plasma shells explode on impact. Uh, oh, do I need one of these? Scanner detection range is increased. I need some more iron. That's carbon, wrong one.
That's one weird, funky looking chicken. It's like an, an octopus chicken thing. A scanner, I can analyze it. It's one of the missing ones, it's a scavenger predator. Whoopsie. <laughs> well, it was trying to kill me. Ish. Let's get some plutonium. Look at these. New technology rebound grenades. Cool. Star shield. scanned one of those these little splodgy things that are running around these submissive anything else here that hasn't been scanned don't see anything move over to the transmission thing oh shall I move over there do a save Getting out my breath so quick. Let's have a look. And some plutonium. Always handy. It's just an abundance of plutonium around here. You know, ISIS terrorists would love this place, it just lies about. So we're saved there. Let's see what we've got. Um, upload that. Units received. Units received. We've just got three animals to go now. And there is one more waypoint to discover on here. So. And let's have a look for let's have a look for another shelter. See if there's another one about. Shelter detected. Almost four minutes away. It's not gonna be too far once I get back to my ship. I've scanned you. I really hope that they manage to do something with the textures within this game. Love to see it looking in a lot better detail. Wow. Thrust is already out.
There we go. See, you can't, I can't make the ship go down, it just wants to hang at this height all the time. You've got to basically guess when you start your, your landing initialization of whether you're going to land in the right spot or not. Sometimes you think you're going to land right near where you want to go, and other times you're bloody miles away from it. Uh, let's do the save here. New technology, wide shot adapter. Bolt caster shots are granted a wide cone of destruction, reduces devices range and rate of fire, encouraging combat with targets in close proximity to the user. Need copper, iridium, and iron for that one. Right. Shield at maximum. iron. <laughs> Here we go, that's another one discovered. I think that's all the waypoints on this planet discovered now by the looks of it. Still just the three animals to find. It's gonna be tricky, because this place is huge. So there we have it folks, that's uh, sort of 20-ish minutes of gameplay within No Man's Sky and that is the gist of what you need to do. It's very much searching all of the planet, looking over waypoints like this one, discovering the next ones, um, managing your inventory. Obviously got two inventories, you've got the one on the starship and you've got the one on your exosuit and you can transfer between the pair of them. You can transfer from your exosuit to your starship no matter where you are. But to transfer from your starship to your exosuit you have to be in a certain distance of your starship. And, uh, yeah, it, it gets really annoying with the inventory, I wish you could fit more in. You know, it, Obviously, as you go through the game, you'll find better things and bigger inventories. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's um, it's a chilled out game. It's good to listen to the sounds of the planet and the music fits in with everything really well. Of course, I mean, the graphics just... Hopefully it's going to get an update and soon because the graphics are pretty mediocre at best, to be honest. But... um. Yeah, I do like it, it's a nice calming game, it's a change from the norm, that's what I like. So, anyway, if you liked the video, please like, uh, please subscribe, and I shall catch you in the next one, take care.